you can never solve a problem which you don't know how it started. You can only give a cure to a particular illness that you know the cause of that illness. Hello viewers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Good day. I greet every one of us traditionally and according to whatever we believe in. You are welcome to Bendon TV, Politics and News, where we analyze politics, the government, and advocate for justice and against injustice. This very moment, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am here to talk about one of the weak points that we have in this country. One of the major weapons the governments are using against the citizens of Nigeria to take Nigeria into darkness. And the citizens are not saying anything or willing to do anything about it. The major weapon these government people are using is ignorance. These people are doing everything possible to make sure they bring us to, into, into the light of lies and they take us into the darkness of truth. How do I mean? These people will bring lies to the public, hmm? making us believe that that is the light. Then the, dark, the truth, they will take it to the darkness, keeping it away from us. Only then, within that political arena that we know of the truth, and they will not leave every other citizen to be acting upon ignorance. <laughs> and that is why I say something. How you can never solve a problem which you don't know how it started. You can only give a cure to a particular illness that you know the cause of that illness. As a result that Nigerian government has kept its citizens into the dark is the actual reason why Nigeria citizens has not been able to do what is needed to be done. You know why? Because Nigerian citizens, they don't actually know what is truth about the government and what is lie about the government because of so much propaganda. And the citizens either are not ready to know what is truth and what is lie because of the fear of confronting these people. They don't want to confront these people because they are afraid to die. They are afraid that they will send uh, police people after them. They are afraid that they will send the security agencies against them. So out of this ignorance we are living in this country, we, have been, we are living with in this country, is one of the major reasons contributing to the backwardness of this country. And this ignorance led to the reason why the government are not investing in the basic things that are supposed to make its country to grow. That is why Nigerian government, they don't invest in education. They don't invest in, they don't want to invest into power. They don't want to invest into good roads. They don't want to invest into hospitals. Because all these things are the basic needs of people. Things that will enable people to live a normal life, a conducive life, a comfortable life. They don't want me and you to be comfortable. You understand? They don't want us to be comfortable. And we are ignorant of this very fact. Why? Because they are always succeeding in their ways of telling lies to us, in their ways of deceits. They have PhD when it comes to deceit, deceiving people. That is why time during election, when you see these people come, they come to you during time of election as if they are God sent. As if we, once they win the election, the sufferness of everybody is going to end overnight. They will promise you heaven and earth. They will brainwash you. They will cook a lie that they know it is not even 1% possible. They will cook that lie to you, to Nigerian citizens, making them believe that they are the right person. They, because they have subjected Nigerians to the level of poverty that they can jump into any opportunity they see, so long it will fetch them, even if it is too naira, just so they could use to take their daily bread, they will jump into it. So after subjecting, uh, succeeding to subject Nigerians into this, then the time of election, of election, they will use that as an advantage. When they come, they bring chicken change, peanuts to Nigerians. They bring bag of rice. Nigeria has become a country whereby now what the citizens can, uh, the politicians campaign with is bag of rice. Whenever there is a fraud, problem issue in, in this state, they say take them bag of rice. When there is this, they will say take, give them bag of rice. When this is happening, social state, social community, they say give them bag of rice. In this Nigerian government, politicians have not seen the citizens of Nigeria finish. <laughs> Let me put it like that. See, finish has now warranted to the extent that the problem of every Nigerian citizen become bag of rice. Nothing more. So now let me go back to ignorance, the major reason where I say it is the highest weapon these leaders are using against the citizens of this country. They have made it possible to make sure that 
90% of Nigerian uh, citizens does not know Nigerian constitution. And this is something that will have made you to know your right as a citizen of a country to know what you are supposed to do and what you are not supposed to do. Many crimes you see in this country people are going into. Many of them are going into a crime that they are ignorance of. Some people go into a crime, they don't even know that they are going into crime. That is ignorance in this country. Many people must have fallen victim to this thing I'm talking now. Some people commit a very hideous crime, very dangerous one, without even knowing they are committing crime because of ignorance. You understand me? This is the same way many things is going on in this country. It's going wrong out of ignorance. If Nigerian citizens, 90% of Nigerian citizens who are ignorance of Nigerian constitution had known Nigerian constitution, what is happening today in this country will not happen. You understand me? So for this particular reason, and for this not to happen, the leaders have made life so difficult for the citizens of this country so that they cannot be able to even think properly, talk more of going and saying, uh, let me go and know what Nigeria constitution talk about. They have hidden the constitution of Nigeria from the sight of everybody. You understand? Even when it is online, now they have known that it is online. On Play Store, you can download Nigeria constitution. But they made it, they are now trying so hard to make sure that the Nigerian citizens, they suffer enough you know, they subject them into the kind of poverty that you cannot even see money to buy data so you can download it. And uh, is he not a man who is comfortable that will be concentrated to be looking for something that, they, uh, that we have time to be knowing the constitution of the country? When you are not comfortable, how can you know that you need to read books? Self? You need to read Nigerian constitution when all you look for is how to survive on daily basis, how to at least eat to a school meal a day. So this ignorance... Hmm? has really really supported the reason why nigerians are suffering intimidation that these politicians gives to the citizens of nigeria and the citizens of nigerians will welcome this intimidation is as a result of ignorance if nigerian citizens have truly known their law the law of this country they are right as a citizen of a country those intimidation that these politicians and power are giving to the citizens it will not be succumbed but because you don't know your rights, any little threat that you receive by a politician, you know, where even in time of protest or whatever, everybody will be afraid. People will run inside because nobody want to be harmed. But if we had known our right as citizens, we know the constitution, we should have known that it is our fundamental rights mm -hmm, with full confidence that it is the fundamental right of every citizen to come and seek for good governance, to fight bad governance, to protest against bad governance, to seek for what will make the country to move forward. They are sitting there as political leaders. Does not mean it is only them who can actually bring an idea that can elevate the country. That is why you are a citizen. As a citizen of this country, there are some ideas you can invent that those politicians don't have. And it is your right mm, to make that idea to be heard and be put into consideration. But because we lack ignorance, everybody is living the life of, mm, I, I, I know fit, I don't want to put myself into problem, I don't want to do this, life of fear, everybody is living the life of fear, because these leaders have subjected us into darkness of not knowing our rights. So these and many more other things are one of the problems we are facing in this country. Nigerian citizens, they are good in suffering and smiling. We don't know how to take up to challenges. Mm? That is why these leaders, they are doing us what they are doing to us today. And if we continue this way, this country is going to remain in this stage of blackout that it is. You understand me? This country will remain one of the poorest countries in the world, one of the unsecured countries in the world. In fact, any negative thing you can name in this world, Nigeria will remain top one. If the citizens refuse to wake up and begin to know that it is their sole fundamental human right as citizens of this country to make this country right, Without that, it can never work. And one of the major problems of this country yeah, is also caused by the citizens of this country. And I will tell you how, why. In time of uh, a election, now when election is going on, like this uh, governorship, uh, governorship election now that is going on, we are hearing a lot of news how politicians are using some boys, giving them gun to go and do rally campaign, do all sorts of dirty jobs. We are hearing all those things. You understand? And this is where the problem of the government starts. Hmm? You, you, you provide yourself as a tool for them to use, as a bad tool for them to use in the name of election. You have forgotten that these people using you as a bad tool for their election purpose. They have children. Their children are schooling in America. Their children are schooling in London, in many foreign currencies, living good life. 
But you, you are here in Nigeria. Rain is beating you. Rain will drench you. The sun will beat you. Many things will beat you in hardship. Your color has changed to black, white, blue, red, and green because of hardship. Yet, these same people who have subjected you into this hardship, time of their election, they will still come and give you peanuts and you will agree to be their bad uh, weapon, their tools of negativity. This, all these things are happening as a result of ignorance. That is why I said that these leaders, they are purposely doing, subjecting this country into the level of poverty that they are subjecting it to, so that the children of this country cannot be educated. They cannot know how and what how, you understand? They cannot have knowledge. Let me tell you, when you are not informed, you will get deformed. Information is life and information is knowledge. When you don't have information about something, you act ignorantly. And that is what is affecting the Nigerians. We are acting ignorantly because we don't have the right information. And these people, they don't want us to have the right information. Forget all the interview these people are being granted. They will come and say this, they will come and say that. All those things, they say, 80% of those things, there is possibility that 80% of those things are lies. You understand? Just to make, they want the citizens of Nigeria to believe a different thing. Why them, themselves are doing a different thing? So that we will not even know where to start fighting from. And even if you say you want to fight now, you will start fighting in the wrong way because of the reason they have given to you or the information which they have given to you. This is what is happening in this country. Now, that is one aspect of a politicking. That is a during time of campaign. Them using oh, our boys as their dog or doing their dirty jobs. Then the second one is during the time of election, these people will come to constituencies. They come to you with their millions of nerds. They will be sharing money to you. And all this money these people are sharing to you, we did not care to ask questions. All this money these people are sharing, where are they getting them from? Why are they sharing it? I think these people are supposed to come and serve the country, the state, or the constituency, or whatever place they are representing. Since their duty is to serve, are they supposed to be the ones spending? Or it is the people who they are serving that necessarily even supposed to make sure that they put them there? These are the questions we don't ask because of ignorance. Be on the normal ground, then eh? on the normal ground, let me tell us the plain truth. It is actually the citizens' right to choose who be who will represent them. And because it is the president uh, uh, citizens' right to choose who will represent them, it is their right, you know, to look for a way to campaign for that person, to sponsor the campaign of the person. We people can see example of it. It has happened in Nigeria, like the time of general election. You people see what happened in Labour Party when Peter Obi was campaigning. He never campaigned with his fund. All the fund which Peter will be campaigned with, all of them were, you know, sorted organically. They were given organically by people, voluntarily, by citizens who want Peter Obi to be the president of Nigeria. Peter Obi never spent time. He never went to constituency to give money, just as PDP and APC and other party members are doing it. You understand? This is a leader that wants to work. Example of leadership that's supposed to work. You know why? Because in a situation where a leader comes into power, and this leader, it is actually the 100% fund, everything that makes that person a leader, 100% came from the citizens. You will see that this leader will work. But in a situation that even 99.9% .9 of him, what makes that person a leader, comes from him himself, from his pocket, you don't expect him to work. It simply means he has come to invest in his own private business. Then when he finally gets into that position, in his business will pay off now. His investment certainly will pay off because all those money he spent, many of those millions of money or in dollar in naira or in dollars may not be his money. They may be funds that he went to sort either from loaners, people who loan money, or even from banks. He take the loan from banks just so he could use to bribe the citizens of Nigeria, just so he could get into power. And all this money, when he gets into power, what do you expect? You expect him to come and work when he has not paid the debt which you borrowed from either from the bank or from the loaners? So these are ignorance. And all this ignorance, if we can get educated about all this ignorance and begin to stop being ignorant as citizens of this country, this country, we will begin to know. Then after that, we know our rights. Then this country will work. Because when we know all these things, we will know what to do. You understand me? Because me, I'm tired of hearing people complaining about the bad government. Yet, if you ask them, what action have you taken about this bad government, the bad government? They will tell you, hey, which action do you want me to take? What can I do? Can I fight government? This is all. You can fight government if you know your rights. You understand me? Because government, we are practicing democracy. Democracy is supposed to be for the people, uh, uh, of the people and by the people. You understand me? Which means you are the government. Who are you feeling? Is it because you are not the president? That is why you think you are not the government. You are the government. So you have every right to fight the government when the government is not doing right. That is why they are human rights uh, lawyers. You know, there are lawyers everywhere. But because of ignorance, we don't know what we are supposed to do. We don't even know that way. It is even our right to talk. You have freedom to say anything you have to say as a citizens. Even if you cannot act, at least talk with your mouth. Talk with your mouth. Let them hear your voice. 
You understand me? So anyway, this thing which ladies and gentlemen, these are the few things that I decided to come and let us Nigerians, citizens of Nigerians know today. Mm? I believe this can help us, you know, to understand some certain things about Nigeria politicians. That these people, they are actually deceiving us. Most of the interviews they are granted, 80% of those interviews they are granted, uh, there are every possibility that they are lying to us. Meanwhile, what is going on is different. Just so in case we want to take action, we can take the wrong action as we are taking action due to the information they gave to us. So... If you had watched this video to this very moment, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you, I appreciate you. It simply means you have heard everything. Mm? And please, I want you to subscribe to this channel mm? and join this channel to enjoy some benefits, some perks and all of that. Okay? Support this channel with everything you can support the channel with mm? in your power. If it is to share the video, my video, share it. Subscribe, hit the notification button, join my uh, community and other sort of things. Any way you know you can support this channel, support it so that we can successfully and continuously you know, promote justice, advocate for good governance, for justice and against injustice. Thank you, distinguished ladies and gentlemen.